Scooby-Doo, The Case of the Lunchroom Gobbler, a number comparisons mystery by Mark Weekland, illustrated by Scott Gross. The kids at Crystal Cove High School were confused. The cafeteria food portions had always been the same, but recently, the portions were never equal. What could be happening? Why does Ty get two slices of pizza when I get only one? Yeah, and why do I get fewer french fries than Martin? Hmm, some food amounts are greater than others. Some are less than others. Ms. Digit, you're the math teacher. What do you make of this? I think we have a mystery on our hands, Principal Nickleby. This is a job for the Mystery Incorporated gang. Scooby-Doo and the gang got to the school just in time for lunch. I'm hungry, said Shaggy. Let's get some eats. They stood in line with their trays. Look, Velma got fewer crackers than Daphne. And Daphne got fewer orange slices than Velma. Like, I don't get it. Let's say I get eight pizza slices. If Daphne gets eight slices, too, then we have equal amounts. But if I get only five pizza slices, then Velma has more. Eight is greater than five, because five plus three equals eight. You can say it another way, too. Five is less than eight, because five equals eight minus three. I understand that, but I don't get why some kids get more food than others. It's the gobbler. Gobbler? That's what we call it. It's gray and black and spooky looking. The janitors have seen it before and after school. We think it's mixing up the amounts of food. Let's look for clues. The gang went to the place where the food had been made. There they found plates with four pretzels and seven pretzels. They also found plates of eight grapes and twelve grapes. Daphne began to match up the food. They don't match! Seven is greater than four! True! And 8 is less than 12. Greater and lesser amounts. The gobbler's been here. Look, a note. It's signed, The Gobbler. Time to set a trap. Velma and Daphne will help me. Scoob and Shaggy, you search the school and look for more clues. Scooby and Shaggy walked the halls. They passed the library and the gym. Outside the art room, they saw things on the floor. Rifty Rin! Yep, a safety pin and a black magic marker, said Shaggy. Just then, a gray shape swooped out of the gym. Rikes! It's the gobbler! Shaggy and Scooby took off running toward the cafeteria. The gobbler was not far behind. Meanwhile, Fred, Velma, and Daphne were setting the trap. We'll use this toaster to burn toast and make smoke. Why not use this one? Fred's toaster has a greater number of slots. More burning bread means more smoke. The gobbler will think there's a fire. When it runs for the door, 
will drop the net. Scooby and Shaggy slid around the corner and hid. Fred put the bread into the toaster and pushed the button. Soon, black smoke was pouring out. Fire! yelled Shaggy. The gobbler ran for the exit. Now! yelled Fred. The net dropped from the ceiling. Got you! Good grief, said Principal Nickleby. It's Vivian Tater Tot, the head lunch lady. And her gobbler costume is missing a safety pin. That's right, said Velma. And she used the black magic marker to color her clothing. Kids, said Vivian. They're never happy with my food. So I gave them something to be really unhappy about. You meddling kids messed up my plan. Hmm, I'm so hungry. I don't know who's more unhappy, me or Scoob. Scooby-Rooby-Roo!